Yeah, we're at Gatorland. I can't wait. It's gonna be good. Ah, yes. Gatorland. There's lots of gators in this land. So these are the small ones. Here's the big ones. Yeah, they're big boys. They're very close to us. He's like sleeping in the water. This is my shadow. <laughs> this is alligator, 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 crocodile. You can tell like obvious difference. Goodness gracious, that is a big old alligator. I like it. This is known as a coach whip snake. I know that it's in there somewhere because there's all these things everywhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Two different super venomous snakes. One's a copperhead, which is that one. And another one is, what do they call this, cane break? It's this one, a baby cotton mouth. The Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. They get so big. The little baby pygmy rattlesnake. An Eastern Indigo. They're cool looking because they're kind of like iridescent. It's a rat snake. This is the, like they claim it as free pest control. These are their white gators. They're crazy looking. We call this one old crazy eyes. These are the really big ones here that they keep separate because they are uh, very mean. This one's name's Chester. The last time that we saw a YouTube video from him, he took off somebody's hand. I like how this is their aviary. That's really funny. Oh, they're like eating through the door. Wow. I like how this bird is just standing on an alligator. Look at all these gar in here. Oh, and look at all these fish too. Wow. They're just waiting for some food. And then the flamingos. One of the alligators' name is Lockjaw. And they say that he's the biggest gator here. I don't know which one's which, but that one right there is very large. Here's the story of Lockjaw. It says that he got into a fight with a big crocodile and the fight lasted most of the night. And when the morning came, Lockjaw had a broken jaw and the crocodile was missing an entire foot. Then again, it could be this one because that is also a very large alligator. Oh, and so is that one. Oh, and so is that one. Look at how big its head is. It's just huge. Yay, a petting zoo. Everybody loves a petting zoo. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, well, they like rammed each other. Oh, you guys fighting? Oh. Whoa. You guys are mean to each other, eh? You guys are hungry. Kyle, you want that little baby one again? <laughs> Whoa. This is Toggle Bird. He's all right. This is like the most hipster goat I've ever seen. My favorite part is how they go. Oh no! Hey, hey, calm yourself. You're not very nice. Nobody likes a bully. Oh, it's a little baby cow, too. It's scared of all the goats, though. The no, just the goats. See? Hey, calm yourself. Here's uh, some of the zip line that they just put in. I want to do that, but it's seventy dollars. Ah, history. Meet Bone Crusher Two. This one right here is Bone Crusher Two. Let's see him. Well, he's not that big. There were alligators that were bigger than him. Big old snapping turtle down there too. This is a warning, Daryl. Don't try to pick up any snakes that you find. Ah, welcome to a Florida swamp. It's swampy. Yeah, they're like, we don't clean anything up. Get underneath this tree. So there was a tornado that sat down along the edge of the swamp and snapped the tops off of all of those trees. That's craziness. I didn't notice this before, but that's the, all of the root system of this tree that fell probably during the hurricanes. Man, look at that, it's cool looking. What do you guys say we watch some gator wrestling? We'll get you out here on the back of this alligator. What the gator will do is the far muddy area of this back feet. He'll start digging out a little hole. After a while, that hole will fall up with water. Bam, there's your gator hole. Now these things aren't very big. They might be about the size of this arena, maybe a little smaller, and the only drink of water for miles around. So you can imagine, as we're moving those cattle across the state, of course they get thirsty, they go down to that gator hole for a drink, not knowing any better, and the gator sees a golden opportunity for a meal. When the captain sticks his nose in, the gator will fly out, grab out the face, pull him into the water, and eat him right there on the spot. Now of course, 
Our boss had a little problem with that. That was his money getting eaten. Those cows, you know, were his profit. So since we were cheaper, he'd tell all of his boys, all of his crackers, to go on down there and wrestle that gator out of that gator hole to make it safe for his cows. And we looked at him like he'd just gone insane, but he did sign our paychecks. We, we kind of had to do what we were told. And uh, that's how we get cracker style gator wrestling. All right, Jason, pick out any gator you want, all right? The far one, okay. That's a mean one. Come on over here. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll wrestle that gator just for you and you can go watch the show where it's safe. Does that sound better? Can I get a high five first before you just leave me here? There you go. And they range in length anywhere from about six and a half to eight foot long. And they're much stronger than us. They're about 90% muscle. And Adam is about 90% Bud Light. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. All right, hold up, hold up. What? All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right. The skater's making all kinds of upset noises. Like that one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. All right, how do we, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. It's a happy hour, <laughs> yeah, it is, right? What are you thinking today, Gator? Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Go that way. Go that way. <laughs> that gator did not care that I was right there, did he? Well, we got to get on the back of this thing. Now I'm hesitating because the back happens to be really close to the teeth. <laughs> okay. Woo! Yeah! Is that all I had to do? Take this off. There we go. Alright, let me grab the end with the teeth. Then we'll start. Got it! Alright. Alright, ladies, get your cameras. Bam! <laughs> oh boy, it wanted it open. Alright, take a look. Take a look inside the mouth. They've got 80 teeth in there. All those teeth are very sharp, made for ripping and tearing. Now, they don't chew their food. Like I said, they just rip off bits. It's okay. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Just peed a little. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid things we do in Florida for minimum wage, huh? <laughs> that one wasn't a joke. <laughs> Now, on the back of the throat, there's a flap of skin. I don't know if you guys can see that back there, but that closes off the throat. Now, that's important because it allows alligators to open up their mouth underwater and even bite things without getting water down in their lungs. All right, who cares about the flap of skin? If you guys missed that, the next show's at 145. Somebody else will show you. Watch how little pressure this should take. Good. All right, give it up for Adam. No hands out there. Don't hold that too long. Why not? Get a really bad hickey doing that. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get a hickey. The alligators and crocodiles both open their bottom jaws. So I'm going to try to show you that in probably the dumbest way there is. <laughs> So if you have a camera, get it ready, because if this works out well, it makes for one heck of a snapshot. Yeah, if it goes horribly wrong, it makes an even better one, so have a camera ready. Why are you even there? <laughs> Simple work. Yeah, you're doing great. I'm only going to do this one time. Quickly. Wow. Adam, you're taking your picture, smile. Yeah. Don't be rude, smile for the camera. There you go. <laughs> wait, 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 don't let go. Why not? You're still taking pictures. What? She changed the battery in her camera. Give her a second. <laughs> no, we're done. Okay, we're done. Andrew, I'm going to have you help me if you don't mind. Here, what's up? I'll roll it over and you sing it to sleep. 
All right? No. That'll work. I'm feeling it. No. What do you know? I'm not singing. That's no. all you have to do. You're an excellent singer. No, you're doing fine. Out here. You guys want to hear no, Andrew sing, that. right? Yeah! You have to now. Seriously? Yeah, just sing something sweet too, because this gator's been stubborn. Definitely a female. <laughs> just a joke, just a joke, okay? Everybody here knows that this female, I couldn't keep the mouth shut. <laughs> You don't like that one, come and get me. Right. I think they figured out by now I'm married. All right, here we go. Ready, Andrew? Yeah, I guess so. All right, coming up a sleeping gator and a singing Andrew. thought she was a free meal and came up here and bit her, but I don't want to let that happen, so I'll show you guys the sweetest way that I know to wake one up, all right? Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's thanks so much for that alligator. She's a real star of the show. Thank you, look at her thought. Give it up for your gator wrestler, Adam. That's all he did today for you out there. So it took you guys an hour and a half to get some gator nuggets, some an onion rings. Uh, no, I mean, it's 1.30 now. It was long though, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't an hour and a half, but in that turkey leg. This is our first experience with a turkey leg. Is it delicious? Our turkey legs are this size. Oh. Your turkey legs are this size. Yeah. You know, everybody always says that those are emu legs. There's emus back there. I don't believe it. Yeah, it's an emu. Oh, you guys are best friends. You guys want us to go in here? Cause it's like 40 degrees outside right now. Not, not gonna happen. There's some panthers. <laughs> There's Daryl walking with a panther. Oh. You're going to get a picture of it next to that sun. Right here, look. You alright? <laughs> wow, there's an alligator just right there. Big fat snakes. Just two of them, that looks like. Really big area for two snakes. The tortoises are in there. It's too cold outside for them. <laughs> what kind of lizard is this? This guy's a savannah monitor. They're a smaller African lizard that people keep pretty common as pets here in Florida. And uh, when they get bored of them, they usually let them go out into the wild and they're becoming an invasive species just for that reason. This guy himself was actually found in uh, somebody's garage in Orlando. And uh, it wasn't their pet, so somebody else's that just got out or they just released him out into the wild. So, uh... Jeez. All right, we've got quite a while to wait for the jumperoo, but I think we've got a good spot because right here, you guys see these two lines? They're gonna run some chickens out there and hopefully that giant alligator is gonna jump up and bite them. But maybe not, maybe that little one right there. Someone's getting creepy. Somebody bought hot dogs and they're throwing little chunks of turkey dog in there for the alligators. They can't be bothered. The birds are getting more of them. 
the show in just a second. Uh, I got two guys out here. They're trying to get a job again, man. You know, we do that now and then. We get a chance to do the show what they can do right in front of the audience. It's a lot of fun for us. I'll tell you what. I got to run back there and start the show music. Just give me a second. We'll get this whole thing going. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's not cheating, but it's so easy. One down on his side. One down on his side. Oh, what? What? If you guys are looking, if you guys look at an alligator, you got to be able to tell the difference. Alligator and a crocodile, what's the difference? We're gonna get it this time. Okay, look at that. We got it. It's their noses. Goodness, it is their noses. Very good. Now describe it. Well, well, the crocodile has got a long skinny nose like a letter B, and the alligator's got a short, long, fat nose like you. Nice. Very nice. He's working over there. He's got a good jump. That was a nice jump. People are throwing in hot dogs for them. Oh, look, raccoons. There's a, a white raccoon, which I've never seen before. I've seen a regular raccoon like this before. Her buddy's name is Jimmy, and there's nothing really exceptional about him, but don't tell him, because he thinks he's pretty special. So, that is a normal color for raccoons, apparently. It's just a blonde raccoon. How crazy is that? We're in the breeding marsh, and these alligators are everywhere in here. There's so many of them. Look hey, at this guy, he's huge. All of these birds have their nests up here. There's a whole bunch of them. This is the way that I'm used to seeing alligators whenever we see them in the wild. They just have their head up. This is kind of a good idea of how big this breeding marsh is. It's a very large. Oh yeah, and it goes that way too. This is pretty funny. They have all these signs for the bigger alligators and this one's called Big Mac. And he was retired as an alligator wrestling alligator. Not because uh, he had spent enough time there, he got too big, but because he bit too many of the wrestling guys. <laughs> Says that he's bitten four of the wrestlers. I like turtles. I like how there's a sign here about cows, but then you turn and you look and you're like, oh, let's see these cows. Those aren't cows, those are deer. The signs here at Gatorland are the best. There's a lot of alligators right here. And one crazy bird. Cons we consider them the closest living critter to Jurassic Park's velociraptors because they hunt cooperatively and can leap six feet off the ground. Cuban crocodiles. Uh, they say there's two of them, I'm only seeing one. Daryl said it best, you get distracted by this one because it's sleeping, and then out of nowhere, the other one right there jumps us six feet over the fence and gets you with a claw. He doesn't go right for the jugular, there it is. he hits you here. Or here, spilling your intestines out. No? Anybody? He's down there. Yeah. yeah. I haven't gotten to the sign to see what kind of crocodile this is yet, but it looks really dangerous because it's behind three fences. Look. <laughs> and it has its own fire extinguisher. Oh, so that was the Cuban crocodile that didn't get along with the other two back there. So this is just a pit full of alligators. Ah, yes, pit full of alligators. As soon as I build my evil lair, I'll take note as to how to build a pit full of alligators. Ah yes, raccoons.
We haven't gotten to the uh, sign for these yet, but that is a really big crocodile. I think it is a Nile crocodile. We'll find out soon. There's saltwater crocodiles. Mean as all get out. And these are caimans, and then there's their big one, Pops, over there. Okay, so he's not the biggest, he's just the oldest. The guy talking to the people that are up there taking the zipline tour is like giving us information. This is Big Daddy Dundee, super aggressive saltwater crocodile. I don't know who this is, but they had to build this L-shaped enclosure so they could get in there and feed him, but uh, he still climbs over that thing and attacks people. I guess they still get in there with him? This is kind of a nice spot as you're leaving the park to get through the gift shop. It's just this nice calm section with turtles and alligators. Oh, dual vlogging. Look at the little baby alligators. All the things that you would buy in a Florida gift shop. Why? Indoor snowball fights? What? I would totally wear this shirt. It's very nice. Hey Daryl, what are you gonna get from the store? Is it a raccoon puppet in a trash can? Please buy me, Daryl. I'll be your best friend. Oh, you guys in the advertising department. You knew what you were writing. There's a kid in this store named Tiberius. I just heard his mom yelling for her. For him. Tiberius. Some guy's like, I have to drink more beer for the art. My last question for you is, how do we figure out 4.7? That was a fun trip to Gatorland. We're on our way back home now, hopefully to get some pizza, s'mores pizza, some hot dogs, some hamburgers, have a nice night in, not being so fat, because uh, Jen told me the other day that she can actually see how much weight I've gained. All right. It was a most enjoyable day and a most enjoyable evening. So tomorrow, uh, we're gonna go to Aquatica. Hopefully it's not gonna be too cold. It's been cold the last couple of days, but apparently they keep their water at a nice steamy, like 84 degrees, so that will be great. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.